In George Eliot's novel, Romola, the author skillfully weaves a tapestry of historical and social complexities, exploring themes of morality, personal transformation, and the collision of individual aspirations with the larger currents of Renaissance Florence. Published in 1862-63, Romola reflects Eliot's meticulous research and her commitment to portraying the intricacies of the human experience within a rich historical backdrop. Set in 15th-century Florence, the novel follows the life of Romola de Bardi, a young and virtuous woman whose journey unfolds against the turbulent backdrop of political and religious upheavals. Eliot employs the historical novel as a canvas to depict the interplay between personal and societal dynamics, masterfully crafting characters whose struggles mirror the broader societal conflicts of the time. Romola, the titular character, undergoes a profound transformation throughout the narrative. Initially, she is portrayed as a sheltered and idealistic young woman, deeply committed to her religious beliefs and moral principles. However, as she confronts the harsh realities of the world around her, including betrayal and loss, Romola's character evolves into a resilient and self-reliant individual. Eliot's nuanced portrayal of Romola's development serves as a vehicle for exploring themes of personal growth and the resilience of the human spirit in the face of adversity. The novel also delves into the complex web of relationships, particularly exploring the dynamics between Romola and her husband, Tito Malima. Tito's character embodies the moral ambiguity that Eliot often explores in her works. Initially appearing as a charming and ambitious young man, Tito's actions gradually reveal a darker side as he becomes entangled in deceit and political machinations. The tension between Romola's unwavering morality and Tito's moral compromises becomes a central conflict, highlighting the clash between personal ethics and the seductions of power. Against the historical backdrop of the Medici's rule and the religious fervor of Savonarola's influence, Eliot skillfully intertwines the personal and political. The novel becomes a lens through which the reader can examine the broader societal shifts occurring during the Renaissance. The city of Florence itself emerges as a character, with its streets, palaces, and piazzas serving as the stage for the unfolding drama. Through detailed descriptions and historical references, Eliot immerses the reader in the vibrant and tumultuous atmosphere of the period. Religious themes permeate the narrative, with the character of Savonarola acting as a powerful symbol of religious fervor and moral rectitude. His presence serves as a foil to the moral struggles of the other characters, highlighting the tension between personal virtue and the corrupting influences of the world. Eliot's exploration of religious themes adds depth to the novel, prompting readers to reflect on the enduring complexities of faith and morality. Romola also addresses gender roles and societal expectations in the Renaissance era. Romola's journey challenges traditional gender norms as she navigates a world dominated by men. Her strength and resilience serve as a commentary on the limitations imposed on women during this period, offering a subtle critique of societal norms. In conclusion, George Eliot's Romola is a masterful exploration of personal and societal complexities set against the rich tapestry of Renaissance Florence. Through the evolving character of Romola, Eliot delves into themes of morality, personal transformation, and the collision between individual aspirations and historical currents. The novel's historical and religious dimensions add layers of depth, inviting readers to reflect on the enduring complexities of human nature and the timeless struggle between virtue and vice.